Who did these paintings? They were painted by women artists a very long time ago, in the 17th and the 18th century. Are they famous? Well, some of them were very no, well known and famous then. I mean, some of them were famous when they were just a little bit older than you are now. Um, Fide Galizia, I mean, she was Italian, lived in Milan. She was famous for her paintings by the time she was 12. And you know, she was internationally famous, right across nations, by the time she was about 16. <laughs> Well, hardly any, any women were taught to read or write or paint. Only nuns in those days. And as soon as they could, as soon as they were old enough to have children, they were married off, you know, some arranged marriages or other marriages, and they spent their life cooking and caring and raising their families. <laughs> They, um, why couldn't they have had training like the men? That's a very good question. Well, the training to be an artist was only open to men at that point. I'm stumped. <laughs> That's a good question. One of the reasons they gave why they didn't want women around was that they drew from life, which means that they had a model and usually the model didn't have any clothes on so that you could paint the human body. And they said, oh, we can't have men and women of in here together. And so they did need to have a look at, or they felt they needed to look at a naked body, and very often these were naked women. I like the way it's got its paws on there and yes. it's like lying back and its ears are up. That's right. It's all attentive, isn't it? Yeah. I like that too. I like that. The woman who painted this was called Clara Peters. And she's um, she knows about cats, doesn't she? And knows about fish by the looks of it too. <laughs> now days what they did when they were writing up artistry they said certain paintings are very important certain kinds of paintings are very important mm -hmm. so like great, great history paintings like for example you know uh, uh, the history the of a country that's right yes yeah, so if the portraits of the queen or the kings they came next and then portraits of high up people like Lord mm. this and Lady that. Um, and then at the end, things like flowers. Yes, well, flowers and fruit, which of course still lives, came right at the end of the list. <laughs> France and all across Europe women were painting. Everybody knew about them and they did they earned a lot of money. Somehow the women got to the bottom of the list or they even got left out of the list. <laughs> Maria 
Maria van Oosterweg came from a very religious family. Her dad was a preacher. She didn't marry and she taught her maid to paint. It's quite very unusual, that is. And some people, when they look at her paintings, they read all sorts of meanings into her paintings, like that flies in the flower paintings were to do with sin and corruption, and the butterflies were symbols of hope and transformation, you know, because the butterfly goes from a chrysalis into a wonderful butterfly, and that was a sort of human transformation, spiritual transformation. Will you remember the, wor the work of these women artists? I won't forget them. I guess he'll call me the old man. I guess he'll think I can lick every other feller's father. Well, I can. A flying headbutt from the hook. He's off the top rope. What? My boy Bill, I will see that he's named after me. I will. Oh, what a hit in the face. Oh, he's bleeding. He's dying. My boy Bill, he'll be tall and as tough as a tree. Will Bill? And up comes the hawk, and he's thrown him. Oh, oh, blood in his mouth. Oh. Like a tree, he'll grow with his head held high and his feet planted firm on the ground. The barbarian just looked at him and smashed him. And you won't see nobody dare to try to boss him or toss him around. No pot-bellied, baggy-eyed bully. No fat bottom flabby face, pot-bellied, baggy-eyed bully will boss him around. him to wrestle and dive through a wave when we go in the mornings for our swim. Wait in the throat machine area, hooks the leg. His mother can teach him no way to behave, but she won't make a sissy out of him. Wow, you can see his back snapping like a rubber band right there. Not him. The barbarian just looked at him and smashed him. Not my boy. Wow, ah, took his head right off literally that time. His mother can... It's the ultimate in ballistic excitement. His mother can... Remote-powered and laser-accurate. This <laughs> won't make a sissy out of him. Hit the target with a Super Nintendo action pack. Sissy out of him. <laughs> My boy. Not him.
she bore ten children. She supported her family after the death of her father. Little is known of her. After her marriage, she stopped painting. She declared herself a widow. She painted to free her husband from a debtor's jail. Little else is known of her. She left her fortune to the Academia. She taught her maid to paint. Little is known of her. She sailed to South America with her daughter. She supported her stepfather with the money she earned from painting. Little else is known of her. She sailed to South America with her daughter. She bore ten children. After her marriage, she stopped painting. She became a member of the Academia, she was a member of, the Academia of Lisbon. She was elected to the she Guild of Painters her family in the after the death of her father. She chose not to marry to devote her life to her work. She supported her stepfather with the money she earned from painting. Little is known of her.